Hello all, welcome to the channel Code Plus Plus. In this video, we are going to see how event listeners work and what is an event. And for the simplicity of our work, I have already made the code for HTML and CSS. All we have to do is to write the JavaScript. So here before us, we have a class container and inside that we have three div boxes, each with a class of box blue, box green and box brown. And outside of this container div, we have this div with a class of text box inside which we will later on display our text. Now coming to the styling, in the container div, I have made it a flex. So all the elements of the container div would be displayed like a flex box. They will be spaced on the screen and they will occupy their respective places. And I have given a margin bottom of 50 pixel. So the class text box would be placed 50 pixels down this container class, which we will see later on. And now coming on to the box class, which is on line 48, 49 and 50. I want to make them a container of width 100 pixel, height 100 pixel, with a border radius of 10 pixel. So the border would not be a 90 degree curve. It would be rather somewhat curved and text align of center. The text would be in center with a padding of 10 pixel margin of 10 pixel auto. So they will be adjusted accordingly with a color or text color of white and font size of 17 pixel. We will see this on the browser and for each blue, green and brown classes, we have given the background color of blue, blue green and brown respectively. And for the text box, whose text which, which we will add with the JavaScript, I have given it a color of black. So the text color will be black with a font size of 18 pixel and a padding of 40 pixel margin 20 pixel auto. So I'm opening it with the live server. So here we, before us, we have the blue box, green box and brown box. And this is a flex. So if I decrease the screen size, or increase the screen size the flex would be adjusted accordingly right now moving on to our JavaScript first I will write the code and then I will try to explain it where blue box div is equal to document oops document dot query selector with a class of blue yes and then for the green box we can do green box div document dot query selector with a class of green with an end and similarly for the brown box we can write brown box div is equal to document dot query selector dot brown now what these would do is they will select the con respective div containers that is this will select the blue box this will select the green box and this will select the brown box as simple as that now we need to select this div of text box also. So in order to use that, we will use the query selector again. We will write text box div document dot query selector selector and text box. Now we have selected all the respective divs which we desired all is left is to add an event listener now we can add the event listener to respective boxes that is blue box green box and brown box and we are going to listen for the event of click now what is a click and click event is basically when we place our mouse pointer inside any container or inside any element and we press the mouse and the mouse has been released while the mouse is inside the container. So this is a click event. Anything that happens on the document 
or on the browser window on which everything is happening may be listened as a event let us add the event listener to the three boxes first of all we will have the blue box div copy it paste and add event listener and the event which we are going to listen to is click so we'll let click and there would be a function this is an anonymous function now inside this we want to display that this blue box was clicked so we need to put some message on the screen that is what we are going to do and to put that message on the screen we will display it inside the div with a class of text box so we will use this text box so this will be something like this text box div dot inner text i prefer inner text because we are just going to alter the inner text of the text box div with a string you have click the blue box now save it and let us go to the browser and if i click then it will say you have clicked the blue box fine but if i click on the green box it will say nothing on the brown box it will say nothing because i have added an event listener only to the blue box div that is why this is happening so in order to achieve this on the green and brown box we need to add event listeners to these boxes also so we will copy our text and do the similar thing for our green and brown boxes so you will simply change the code to green box div and here it will be green here it will be brown box div and here it will be brown save it and now the page has been refreshed if we click on the blue box it will say blue box if i click on the brown box it will say brown box and then finally if i cl click on the green box it will say green box so on all the divs we have the event listener working now here is something i want to show you suppose in this function we can capture the event also so i'm going to log it to the console console dot log event happening is event dot type so we can know the event type that it was a click definitely by using this console log dot log and seeing it on the screen let us save and now move on to the browser i will open the inspect coming to the console here now i'm going to click the blue box so event happening is click so that is what we were listening to and we have clicked on the blue box so this is how basically events are handled now there is a problem with this code suppose if i had 50 boxes or 10 boxes then we would not go on applying event listeners to each of them we would take advantage of a thing called as event bubbling which i am going to make in some another video so for now it will be enough stay connected to the channel if you have any comments or queries you can put them on the comment box like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching